Hello friends. Welcome to our YouTube video learning channel. Accurate. ASME. ISO. In this video we are going to learn a step-by-step -step measurement procedure of connecting rod on 3D coordinate measuring machine. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share the video. Thanks. Let's begin now. In manufacturing industry, there are specific terms used for connecting rod features. Big end diameter. As the name indicate, the diameter in large size is called as big end diameter. Small end diameter. The diameter in small size is called small end diameter. Bend. The parallelism between big end hole axis and small end hole axis is called as bend of the connecting rod. The direction of the parallelism is important for the bend. Twist. The parallelism between big end hole axis and small end hole axis is called as twist of the connecting rod. The direction of the parallelism is important for the twist. Measuring dimensions and geometric tolerances are shown in the drawings. Bend and twist are specified by the geometric control of parallelism. Parallelism measured in working plane says ZX plane is called bend. Parallelism measured in working plane YZ plane is called twist. Both parallelism is measured of small end diameter with respect to the axis of big end diameter as datum A is symbolically shown in the drawing. Center distance is the distance between big end and small end diameters. Compared to the center distance and parallelism tolerances, Diameter and cylindricity tolerances are extremely close values. The measurement procedure given in this video is to be treated as the sequence of the operations in the CMM programming to be followed. Accuracy of the measurement is solely depend upon the accuracy of the machine and probing system. For very close tolerances continuous scanning probe is recommended. For semi-finish operation and wider tolerances touch trigger application is good enough. In any of the configuration of the CMM, alignment and measurement steps remain same. Therefore this programming is valid for irrespective of the machine specifications or probing system or methodology adopted as touch trigger or scanning. Finished prerequisites of measurements like Cleaning of machine and part Stabilizing of machine and part for temperature Homing of the machine Calibration of required probing Mounting or clamping of the part assuring axis of measuring area, etc. Create alignment Measure a big end cylinder with 16 points, 8 points on each section. Sometimes depth of the section height is suggested in the drawing. Measure a small end cylinder with 16 points, 8 points on each section. Construct a theoretical line between big end and small end cylinders. Do primary alignment to big end cylinder axis. Do secondary alignment to constructed line. Do origin to big end cylinder axis for X and Y direction. These steps are written assuming manual location alignment is already performed. Start reporting. 
from geometric tolerance window report parallelism of small end cylinder with respect to big end cylinder. Select the working plane for parallelism as ZX plane. It is text as bend. From geometric tolerance window report parallelism of small end cylinder with respect to big end cylinder. Select the working plane for parallelism as ZY plane. It is text as twist. Report a distance between small end and big end cylinders as a coordinate distance, in x-axis direction. Report cylindricity from form tolerances for both the cylinders. Steps for programming alternate method. Create alignment. Measure a big end cylinder with 16 points, 8 points on each section. Measure a small end cylinder with 16 points, 8 points on each section. Do primary alignment to big end cylinder axis in Z direction. Measure a circle with 8 points at middle of the height of the big end cylinder. Use working plane as XY plane for the circle measured. Construct a theoretical plane passing through the circle and perpendicular to axis of big end cylinder. Create alignment, continued. Intersect constructed plane with small end cylinder axis to generate a theoretical point. Construct a line passing through circle measured at middle of the big end cylinder and theoretical point constructed in small end cylinder. Do secondary alignment to the line constructed as X axis. Measure a circle with 8 points at bottom of the small end cylinder. Use working plane as XY plane for the circle measured. Translate or do origin to the circle measured at bottom of small end circle in X, Y and Z directions. Measure a circle with 8 points at top of the small end cylinder in XY plane. Start reporting results. Report X coordinate of measured circle at top of the small end cylinder with nominal dimension as 0.00. The actual coordinate value is a bend or parallelism of small end cylinder with respect to big end cylinder. Report Y coordinate of measured circle at top of the small end cylinder, with nominal dimension as 0.00. The actual coordinate value is a twist or parallelism of small end cylinder with big end cylinder in another direction. Report distance in X coordinate axis direction between a circle measured at middle of the big end cylinder and intersection point constructed in small end cylinder. The coordinate distance value is the center distance between big and small end cylinders. Hope that, you have liked this video, with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer AUCOM Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface Finish MSA and other quality tools For further details, please contact us
and I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube, by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day.